Hi Taurus, welcome to your What You Need to Hear Right Now general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Taurus. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi, Cross Watchers, you're very welcome if you're interested in a Taurus here. I mean, who wouldn't be? I like to remind Taurus and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card poll to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me here. It does really help me connect to your energy to, um, you know, just see what spirit has to say before I even pull the cards. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times. And during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions that you may have in regards to your love life. And if there is a certain someone, start thinking about them now. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Taurus. Oh, Taurus. Um, wow, where do I start? Okay, so I first tasted like dark chocolate, and I wonder if someone is like eating a lot of dark chocolate at this time. Uh, his favorite chocolates are dark chocolate, but even like someone's skin coat tone can be very dark and sexy, and someone may kind of refer to their person as like dark chocolate or something like that. But then I saw like deep like dark brown leather. So I wonder if that's like a dark brown leather jacket someone wears or a dark brown leather couch that someone has in their living room. It's, these are just confirmations of who this could be. And um, then I heard I love the way you taste. Ooh, wow. I mean, yeah, I definitely think this is someone you have had sex with or have had a makeout session with and they want more, they're hungry for more. It kind of feels similar to Sagittarius's reading, so if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or if you have strong Sagittarius in your chart, I suggest checking out the Sagittarius reading to see if there's messages for you there. But I'm very curious to know what this is all about, so let's go ahead and jump right on in. So Spirit, tell me about what Taurus needs to hear right now about their love life, anything that we can provide them information to that they need to hear and know about at this time. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate di may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I feel like this is serendipitous how you meet this person. It was kind of out of the blue. You weren't really looking for them. It's not like you were on a date, but you met them at an event, uh, at a friend's house, at a bar, at a party, um, or even just being out and about. And unexpectedly, you started to kind of have feelings for this person. Maybe usually... I don't know whether this is you or the other energy I'm connected to Taurus like they usually don't like work up their feelings too much they kind of like to keep things a little bit more detached to get to know someone but there is something in their gut feeling that already told something was special here the letter k is really sticking out to me as in Kayla Keith first middle last initial can mean something to someone but yeah I do feel as if like if you did meet through friends, they're asking their friends about you. If you're single, if you're looking for someone, if you're dating, like they were very, very interested in you from the start. Tell me more. Tell me more about this energy here for Taurus. Taurus. 
Hole in the Soul number 36. Okay. So this hole in the soul energy does tell me that um, there has been a connection someone was in, whether this was you or this other energy, that still someone was very heartbroken over, was slowly healing from, would get triggered by. Um, I'm seeing stitches. I wonder if someone recently got stitches or the energy I was talking about of the past, like someone could have a scar from stitches or something like that. But yeah, I could see why this was a bit serendipitous because I think you or them or both of you weren't even looking for love. Like you were just living your single life or on your own thing and then boom, you guys have met each other. And maybe some of this as well, there could be excitement, there could be curiosity, but some of you guys, there could also be certain feelings of pain starting to surface because um, maybe there were similar feelings to someone you had for before Maybe it's just because, you know, it's still a little bit unhealed within someone what they went through. And I got to say to those, I feel as if God, Spirit, the universe brought you two together to help overcome some sort of hole in the soul from a past that you guys are meant to move on and move forward from. I'm hearing something about a car accident too. Um, that could affect something from the past or what someone went through recently, which is maybe why Someone's a little bit shaken up and maybe shy at first, nervous at first. Someone, the red rose is very strong here as well. I wonder if someone has like a rose tattoo or has been seeing a lot of red roses, but that is a sign for me of true love, the red rose. Beautiful love, deep love that can grow from this. And some have already kind of wondered if that could even exist. Absolutely it can. There's purpose to this meeting here, Taurus. Wow, let's get into the tarot. Tell me more about what Taurus needs to hear right now, Spirit. Two of Pentacles. Okay, Capricorn energy. Someone's been a little bit apprehensive. Someone is still kind of deciding what to do with this. They're kind of torn in their feelings here. And by that, they go back and forth on, you know, being really enthusiastic, texting you to then kind of being worried about the connection, worried about the past. And there you have a lot of figuring out that they're doing right now. And you have really kind of sparked this decision within them that they're currently trying to make here. Yeah, seven of wands. Someone's definitely guarded. Mm-hmm. Seven of Cups. So there are two sevens here. Someone's birthday could be May 7th, May 17th, perhaps April 27th for someone out there. Interesting. Wow. Ooh, powerful. Okay. Okay, that card wanted to come out. So bottom of the deck, we Page of Cups. I'm just only reacting this because Leo just had the Page of Cups at the bottom of their deck. So if you're dealing with Leo, have strong Leo in your chart, check out the Leo reading to see if there's messages for you there. But Taurus, yeah, I think differently than what I'm picking up or was picking up on for Leo, like there has been someone that has been really struggling with their feelings. Especially if there were certain wounds that never really kind of healed up from the past, whether there was no closure given or there just wasn't any justice to it. And... I think through this random occurrence of beating you, there's been some emotion starting to stir up. But I do feel, especially with like hole in the soul, there has been a huge heart chakra blockage within someone that someone was afraid to open back up again, to tune into again. But I think through meeting this person, meeting you, Taurus, there's been some heart healing here. And I think that someone's been growing a little bit softer, has been kind of letting their guard down, has been kind of exploring their feelings in a way that they haven't explored recently in a long time. And I do have to say, to be real, whether this is you or the person you're connected to at this time in your psyche, someone carried a lot of anger and resentment about someone from the past or how things fell apart. And I think through that whoever was holding that there was just a lot of sadness I kind of just feel and by meeting you Taurus I think you really have pulled them out of that 
where they don't think of that person as much, where they don't cry over that person as much, or even that's what you're going through. And even just meeting you and having a realization that you could be someone so much better is something that is healing their heart and opening up their heart chakra. And I even feel like you guys had an intimate moment in the recent past where they shared something vulnerable with you, told you a secret, told you something that they've been through, and um, you held the space for them. And that really meant a lot to them, Taurus, more than I can describe. I also am kind of seeing too in the recent past, someone got like an angry text message from an ex. Um, something petty, something just, you know, trying to play games. But because they met you or you met them, it didn't trigger someone as much. They were able to kind of just roll their eyes and like drop the phone and not have so much anxiety or panic or hurt around it. Wow. Okay. Let's get into this. Dead center of this two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. So there's a lot going on in someone's life. Maybe there's a lot of work that someone has a project deadline with or just even having all these feelings for you starting to arise. It's making someone feel a little bit overwhelmed, especially in how to pursue this and what to do next. And I do kind of feel like either you or this other person has been struggling with being consistent whether that's through communication, whether that's through hanging out. And it comes from that worry of hurt again. It's so clear here with the hole in the soul. And I think that someone is kind of delaying the progress of what's meant to happen between the two of you. And again, you can take time, but I definitely feel as if as someone's still trying to figure out, the other person's like, okay, what are we doing here? Do you like me? Do you not? Do you want this? Do you not? Like, I just don't know... You act so differently at times. I just don't know how to perceive this. Someone thinks someone's back is really sexy or someone could have like a lower back tattoo or um, back dimples. Someone could wear like halter tops or clothes that shows off the back. There's a very muscular toned back I'm kind of seeing here for someone else. But yeah, with this two of pentacles here, I think you guys are in the process of trying to figure it out. And maybe even with keep an open mind, the imagery I'm even seeing in this card here of like someone like talking to a couple people, like trying to figure out through their friends, like, all right, I met someone, I am starting to have feelings for them, but do you think I'm ready yet? Do you think this is moving too fast or whatever? What's crossing this is the Seven of Wands. Yeah, Leo energy. Someone's been very slow to open up. Someone's been very slow to trust, maybe even a little bit defensive, a little bit agitated. But, you know, I again, with the Seven of Cups, there's just so many emotions here at play that it keeps someone a little bit stuck until they figure it out, I guess. And I think although... Someone has been giving the other person enough patience. It's hard to wait. And I think, um, you know, the defense is starting to make someone get a little bit annoyed, a little bit frustrated. Someone could be wearing the color orange right now or orange is someone's favorite color. Someone could have been wearing orange last time they saw you saw each other. But it's like I feel there's been a lot of moments between the two of you where they tried to go for a kiss or try to like ask you to come over or try to get you to stay the night or vice versa Taurus right and someone was just like no I'm not ready yet no I can't do this right now and it's to the point where they may be wondering if it's ever going to happen when will the defense and the wall come down because I'm ready for you but I'm I'm not going to wait forever What's crowning this is the Seven of Cups. Sorry, I have to block out nudity due to YouTube guidelines, but um, Scorpio energy. Man, yeah, you even, someone here is going through so many different emotions. At one minute, they get really excited. The next, they get really nervous. The next minute, they get really scared. And then they start to feel guilty. It's a lot. Someone does definitely feel a little bit emotionally overwhelmed. And I think for some of you, like, 
whoever has this hole in the soul has been kind of, I wouldn't say putting off this healing per se, but have been trying to put band-aids on it that hasn't fully healed. And I get it. Like, there's no judgment here. When you don't get that closure or that understanding from someone that hurt you so deeply, like, there will always be those questions in your mind. But I think, again, through meeting this person, someone was meant to start figuring out those emotions and really kind of seeing if those emotions are even applicable anymore or should even be something still a part of your life when something's in here of someone that is ready to give it all, is ready to be there, is ready to help someone navigate if they would just let them in, open up, trust. But things are definitely moving a bit slowly for someone here. Someone may have like a resonance with the turtle um, on a personal level or have been seeing turtle a lot, but I do always kind of get that story of the tortoise and the hare where some people think like if it's meant to happen it just happens so quickly and some things take time and I think although someone may be frustrated with the time which I completely understand I think this emotional processing someone has to go through and healing will be beneficial once it's on the other side someone could have a very prominent scar on their torso their stomach area I'm seeing for someone out there just, yeah, it's through meeting someone here, they are meant to kind of evolve out of this, you know, energy they've been carrying for so long. And they're getting closer every day. I do want to give someone that encouragement. Reading this, we have the Page of Pentacles. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, slow and steady, trying new things, seeing what will work and what won't work, like wanting to kind of take you out to dinner and then, you know, if you need your space, I'll give you your space, trying to see what will work here is what someone that is not in the Two of Pentacles is trying to make happen. How can we go forward with this? What can I do to help you? understand that I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not out here to hurt you. I'm seeing someone making like a home-cooked meal for the other person and it could have been related to like their culture specifically and they loved it. They really do. They love someone's home cooking here. But yeah, I think that they're trying what they can to show and prove to the person who's unsure and has the hole in their soul that this is something they really want. I do wonder, I feel this feeling of someone wanting to give you a gift or has been looking online for a gift for you. Uh, maybe planning something for your birthday, even if it's this far out, like end of April, beginning of May. They have a surprise that they're wanting to give to you. I kind of want to clarify this page of Pentacles though, to get a little bit deeper into this. They love kissing your neck from behind, I'm seeing. Eight of Wands. Oh, Sagittarius energy here. And the Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy, Capricorn energy here very strongly. So what I'm seeing here is that in order to convince someone to come out of Two of Pentacles, of I don't know what to do with this, what should I do with this, someone may be starting to suggest certain dates, suggest certain activities to kind of get to know each other better, to bond with each other better, to take them a little bit out of their comfort zone, but to know like even if there's something out of your comfort zone, I'll be here with you to work through it. There is someone that likes to go to the gym, lift weights, um, maybe does like CrossFit or something along those lines. I'm definitely seeing like a bench press or squats definitely here but they are trying to impress you Taurus they are trying to get you to notice the effort they're trying to put in someone's address has the number three in it as well just confirmation for who I'm talking about here 
And they're hoping that this will speed things up, the new things they're suggesting of trying, the new places to go, the new activities that you guys can do. Because they do want to hold on to this. They do want to make this work with the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. But they do want things to move a little bit faster with the Eight of Wands. I'm seeing a wristband from like a club that you guys went to together or had a fun time at. Or someone could be in the night entertainment industry, service industry, bar industry. In the recent past, we have justice, Libra energy. Okay, so some of you guys, I do feel whoever has the hole in the soul, they're still not settled until they feel like there's justice to this. Someone may be going through some court um, dates and they're waiting on a divorce to finalize or some sort of payout to happen some sort of splitting of things that could kind of settle this. Um, and that could also give someone some sort of anxiousness or nervousness, okay? But for most of you, I really do feel like this is Spirit's way of saying, like, Taurus, although you may have not have had the justice of what you were looking for as far as closure from someone and answer from someone, clarity from someone, I restored that or replaced that with this energy that is going to be the person that doesn't leave you in the dark, that is right for you, that is looking for the same things you're looking for, that you guys could vibe and sync with so well. Someone is very intelligent. Someone it cares a lot about, you know, social justice or, um, you know, watches Judge Judy or like is really into the court and law. Someone could even be studying law criminal law, um, or maybe even fascinated by true crime. But it's like you guys, I had a say in bringing you two together. That's why it happened so sporadically, organically. I wanted you guys to finally see that this could be a match here. This is the right match. And no longer does someone have to wait on the past or worry about the past or be hurt by the past. Meeting you, Taurus, feels like their life has felt back in balance of whatever was missing, of whatever wasn't explained, of whatever was did not feel right with anyone else, but it feels right with you. Someone could even live by a courthouse as well, I'm seeing here. But I kind of want to clarify this justice card. Tell me more about justice in the recent past. Ten of Wands. Oh, I love that. Tell me more. Then we have the Two of Wands. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck, the Chariot. Whoa, okay. 777 is officially here. So you're on the right path, Taurus. You and what you feel in the higher vibrations of once you tune into yourself and your intuition and let the ego go, you are getting divine messages and divine guidance here. And you can trust your feelings of excitement and happiness. Spirit is trying to push you towards something with the chariot that is destined for you, that was meant to come across your path, that you're meant to go down this path. Someone could be living around like road construction right now as well. A lot of confirmations here for you guys. There's also two twos here. So 22 could be a number that means something to you. Your birthday could be April 22nd, May 2nd, or May 12th or May 20th here. But yeah, so the justice was to put down the burdens of the past with the Ten of Wands. To finally just say goodbye to what burdened you, what stressed you, what hurt you. Lay it down so this new opportunity, this exciting energy of finding someone that fit so well can really start to manifest, can really start to take place. Because you felt that desire and they felt it too. But the only thing blocking was the burdens and the energy of the past that no longer should be anything someone carries here. It's okay to let go and it's okay to trust. That's what spirit wants someone to hear and feel very deeply. You will be safe is what justice is saying. Wow. 
All right, Taurus, to see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen and unfold by the end of the month or the upcoming weeks, or to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you guys the likely outcome, pull some more tarot oracle cards to dive deeper into this, and hey, for my longtime subscribers, you guys know how I used to read very centrally, tap into the energies deeply, and I can show the cards in Vimeo. So it's going to be a lot like the readings I used to do back in the day that I can't do on YouTube currently due to the guidelines. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Taurus, I really hope that this is giving you the clarity, insight, healing guidance that you were looking for in regards to what you need to hear about your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Taurus very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus.